Hey guys, uh, before I begin today's video, I'd like to first of all thank every single one of you who has subscribed to my channel in one way or another, who has seen uh, my videos uh, in terms of either it being the Xbox video, which now has few thousand views already and every day I'm getting comments saying hey you helped me out with this or no it didn't work and I'm really appreciative of, uh, of that and I'd also uh, like to thank those who've watched my Raspberry Pi video who which has been around for about maybe a year now so it's got a lot of views and it kind of has to do with what today's video is about so stick around and let's get started. So about a week ago, I was contacted by a company called Emteria. Now what they do is th their business is to provide Android for uh, devices that either are low powered or uh, they provide any sort of services that are business worthy uh, in the form of Android for companies. So they reached out to me after watching the Raspberry Pi video that I posted a few, about a year ago now. And they said, hey, we really like the video. And we saw that you mentioned that there is a version of Android that is unstable. And we'd like to provide you with a stable version of Android. So I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. So uh, I made a, an account with them. Uh, they reached out to me, gave me a code. And now I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to actually run Emteria on the Raspberry Pi because on my channel, I talk about the cool things in terms of Android. So let's see what this thing can do. And Teria, I'm talking about, can do with the Raspberry Pi. So let's see what it can do. Now, while taking a look at Emteria, Emteria is a very stable program. Now, before we get into the stability of this program, I like to tell you that installing it on your Raspberry Pi is very simple and very easy to do you stick in your micro SD card into your computer and you allow it to install all the files that it needs, format your SD card to the way it wants and it sends out pretty much the way you'd expect it to. Now it does use its own proprietary program to install all the files onto your SD card. So just to remind you, you have to go onto their website, download their program and install from their program onto your Raspberry Pi. Now when taking a look at Emteria and how it runs on the Raspberry Pi, I have to say I'm very impressed with how the menus work and then with how smoothly the transitions go within menu to menu on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I am very impressed by what they have done here, by bringing a port of Android to the Raspberry Pi that is very smooth compared to the old version of KitKat that we've had in the past. Now, when it comes to running apps on the Emteria OS, I would like to say that they run fine, that they run perfectly smoothly, uh, but unfortunately, I can't say that about this experience. Uh, I feel like it is something that maybe is still in the works for them, but in terms of a physical working system, uh, I would have liked to say that this would be fully working with every app on the App Store. And obviously, I'm not going to hold them up to that standard because I understand that this is something that is in the works and in the future we'll be able to run apps on here. And like I have mentioned before, this is an industrialized version of Android. And for my personal usage scenario, I would have liked them to have worked a little bit on top of uh, getting more universal apps to run on this device. Uh, as you will see, I did try to run Spotify on here. Uh, it started up pretty smoothly. I'm not going to say it didn't work fully, but uh, it didn't really recognize my email. So then I had to, you know, cancel it and try something else. Uh, I also tried running 
Fallout Shelter on here, which I'd like to consider that to be a very low-powered, low CPU or GPU intensive game. And it started up pretty well, but uh, as soon as it got into the game and things were happening, it crashed. Uh, that happened three times when I did it. Uh, and after the third time, I just said, you know what, it's not working. Now, this is not to say that Ontario will not work for you and for your usage scenario. If your goal is to run enterprise apps, if your goal is to run some sort of app that is industrialized and is built for something that is of low power and of low uh, CPU or GPU intensity, uh, I do think that this would be the way to go. This would be your ultimate goal is to put Mteria on a Raspberry Pi, which would be low cost. Now, if I were to point out anything when it comes to Mteria on the Raspberry Pi, is that we are used to having things on the Raspberry Pi be open source and have freedom of being able to install it on the Raspberry Pi without any sort of extra cost or any sort of Adley cost to the Raspberry Pi. And in this scenario, Emteria is actually a paid version of Android to put on the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'd like to imagine that whatever somebody else receives in terms of Emteria on their device is a much more comprehensive, and a lot more feature-rich version of Android that best fits each person's scenario. There are things that I would have liked to have done on this version of Android. And those things uh, come in the versions of put a USB on to the Raspberry Pi and have it read off of a USB. I tried doing that and it didn't work. Uh, I tried playing uh, music off of it. It did have good internet connection. That is something that I, I do have to say they have excelled on is having a good internet connection that flows very well with the device and it feels very lightweight. To be clear with everybody, this is a bare bone version of Android and that is a great thing. This isn't a bloatware version of Android with a bunch of bloatware apps. This is a very pure version of Android and that is why it runs so well on the Raspberry Pi. Overall, I feel like the Raspberry Pi does a spectacular job of running Emteria. Now, I would like to give some pointers to the guys at Emteria. Now, my first pointer would be to install a version of Android that is Android Go compatible. Now, what is Android Go? Well, for those of you who don't know, Android Go is a low-powered version of Android that runs on low-powered devices. Now, just by hearing that, people would automatically associate that to the Raspberry Pi. At least that's what happened to me. I associated Android Go with Raspberry Pi, and I thought that Android would have created a sort of partnership with the Raspberry Pi to run it on those devices. But unfortunately, that did not happen. So I believe that Emteria could be the first people to actually implement this sort of system on the Raspberry Pi. Now, my second piece of advice would be to find a way to allow heavier apps to run on this system. Now, this might coincide with my first advice, but I feel like Enteria could run heavier apps. It has the ability to do that. It has the ability to maybe even overclock the Raspberry Pi into running a little bit harder and yet be allowed to dive a little bit deeper into the software. And thirdly, uh, and this is just kind of a personal thing, I don't know, I mean, maybe you guys have been working on it, but I would like to see some sort of streaming capabilities with the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is known for in the past as a bad streaming alternative, and yet you have to turn to something a little bit more powerful, but I would love to see Emteria be able to run something like Netflix or Hulu or be able to stream music a little bit more softly and, and more smoothly. So here comes the ultimate question. Is Emteria OS 
the best OS for entertainment? No. And it may seem surprising to you that this would be my answer, but it's the truth. It's not made for anything entertainment-wise. This is made for industrialized usage. And when comparing this to other versions of Android on, let's say, my phone, for example, my phone runs it much better than the Raspberry Pi. Now, sure, my phone has more RAM, it has a better CPU, but just for the fact that Mterio was able to make Android run and make it run pretty smoothly on a Raspberry Pi is fantastic. I think the biggest usage scenario nowadays is for entertainment. And even though that it doesn't work as an entertainment device, it does work for other usages. Now, the best thing about what I did was test it to see if it would run anything entertainment-wise. And the fact that it didn't work just goes to prove that it wasn't built for entertainment. It was built for industrial usage. Now, the biggest part of all this is the fact that Emteria still has support. And that is something that not a lot of software that goes for the Raspberry Pi really have. And that is actually a positive thing. I feel like Emteria is slowly growing to something spectacular. And I feel like the usage of Android on something like the Raspberry Pi is just the beginning. And I feel like right now, they are just scratching the surface of what is possible with doing it on the Raspberry Pi. So all in all, even though my experience with Emteria may have seemed like a bummer, Overall, I'm very impressed with what they did here. This is a very stable version of Android, and I have mentioned in the past about the unstable version of Android, but this is a very stable version of Android. And sure, it needs a whole lot of work, but it's working. So all in all, I'm very happy with the experience. So Emteria said that they would be sending me a discount code. For any of you who are watching the video and want to get your hands on Emteria as soon as possible. And as soon as they send me the discount code, I will post it in the description of this video down below. So you guys can go ahead and feel it for yourselves. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I want you guys to go down in this comments and please tell me if you've had any sort of experience with Android on the Raspberry Pi. Tell me your experience with Android on the Raspberry Pi. Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Was it bad? Was it not what you expected? Please leave that down below in the comments. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos and give this a like so that I know that you guys like the video. And... I think that's it for me. So hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you on the next one.